They lock up. Harley Race overpowering Kevin into the corner. And a devastating shot to the lower back puts Kevin on the mat. And Kevin blocks it and returns a punch. Connects twice. Twice. Kevin again off the ropes. Oh, he knocks him down. He knocks down the old oak tree. Harley Race for the second. The movie begins with Fritz von Erich, a professional wrestler and patriarch of the von Erich family. Here we know him when he was still fighting and already had two children and was expecting his third. Fritz had an extremely tenacious mentality and would not let anything change his mind. So he decided to rent a better car to act like a star because that way he thought he would achieve his goal of being the heavyweight champion of the world. However, this did not happen in years past now Fritz is retired and his family is grown. He has four children and three of them are involved in sports and are quite athletic. All because of their father who instilled in them from a very young age to be the toughest, the strongest and the most successful so that nothing can harm them. His sons loved wrestling and the first one who is dedicated to this is Kevin who has prepared himself a lot to have a great physique and win several of his fights. As a result, he is now the new heavyweight champion at the Texas level. His father is very proud of Kevin and believes this is just the beginning. It was his main goal to win the world championship and bring the coveted belt home that Fritz could not win. Kevin has an upcoming fight and this time he will be joined by his brother David who will be making his in-ring debut. All this is a show put on by the Bonniers who make a good business from this fights. From Gino. Let's go, David! 40 days now. Huge flying. The brothers line up a double drop kick. An incredible double drop kick. And here comes the iron claw. Oh, and he slaps it on Gino. It is too much. Gino taps out the Devon Air Twin. After coming out winners of the fight, Kevin signs several autographs, and there is a girl named Pan. She comes up to him and invites him out to eat. He gets a little nervous as he has never had an invitation before. On the other hand, Fritz, while counting the money they earned for the fight, receives the news that the ratings were very high, so ISPN wants to broadcast a fight on Saturday nights. This is very good news at a financial and promotional level to achieve the world championship. During his date with Pam, he reveals to her that what he wants for his life is to win the world championship. Being with her family and siblings, something the girl finds very sweet. She also reveals to him what she wants for life. She wants to be a veterinarian rather than have children and especially a man who will accept that. So she asks Kevin very directly if he would accept it. A question that he did not expect, but he answered nonetheless. Kevin also reveals to her that he is not the oldest brother as he seems, but that when he was five years old, the first of the brothers named Jack Jr. died. A tragedy that he does not remember much as he was only a child. Pam doesn't think about it and goes to give him a hug as a form of consolation. There Kevin confesses to her that this is probably part of the family curse as his father changed his last name to Von Erich, which was his mother's last name. And from there it is believed that his family began to suffer all kinds of tragedies since his brother died. People think it was because of the curse, but Kevin doesn't believe this kind of thing. Pam also mentions that she does not believe in that and especially in being lucky. She believes that each one creates his own destiny. After this talk, they end up having their first kiss. Upon returning home, Kevin gets the news from his father that he is going to fight the heavyweight champion of the world, although this is just a friendly fight. If he gives him a good beating, he can be the number one contender for the world championships. This is great news and Kevin is very happy. His father reminds him that all his career he has always dreamed of having that belt at home. And now his son has that opportunity, so he has to take advantage of it. 
the day of the long-awaited fight arrives. The indomitable Harley Race. And they lock up. Harley Race overpowering Kevin into the corner. Shot to the lower back puts Kevin on the mat. And John blocks it and returns a punch. Connects once, and twice. Kevin again off the ropes. Oh, he knocks him down. He knocks down the old oak tree, Harley Race. Oh, a low blow. Oh, I don't think the ref saw that. Oh, and he, he tosses Kevin over the top rope. Oh, no, I hope he doesn't do it. And he does. Harley Race puts a standing suplex. But one. Two, three, six, five. Unbelievable. Harley Race. Kick to the ribs. Then Kevin spins out. And a knee right in the jaw, knocking the champ flat on his back. One, two. The race down in, but he doesn't want it here. Oh, but he throws the ref out. See you then. Our protagonist gets up as best he can, and his brother mentions to everyone that Kevin kicked Harley's ass and that they are the future of the sport. His dad is a little hard on Kevin as the fight didn't go the way he had hoped and hopes for a rematch. On the other hand, Mike, who is the youngest of them all, who is not an athlete like his brothers, likes music. However, his mother does not give him permission and his father does not support him either. His brothers decide to help him and they all run away together so that Mike can give his presentation. The boy certainly has talent, and his siblings know it. They all have a great time, and above all, Kevin and Pam. After a few days, Fritz knows that he has to counterattack so that he is in the eyes of the world and one of his sons fights for the world championship, so he decides to get Carrie into wrestling. And together with his other brothers, they now put on a show fighting against three other wrestlers. comes out to tell everyone that his son David is going to be the next heavyweight champion of the world. So Kevin is a little surprised, because he realizes that his father no longer trusts him so much. One day the boys receive the news that they will finally have the opportunity to fight for the world title and the fighter is desired to be David. This undoubtedly comes as a surprise to everyone and especially to Kevin. David is also terrified he has to fight for the next six months and then he will travel to Japan to conquer that country and then the world title. But Kevin is a little sad because it was also one of his dreams. Kevin marries Pam and celebrates in style with his family. In the middle of the celebration, Kevin finds his brother David in one of the bathrooms vomiting when he sees blood in the toilet. Kevin freaks out and tells him he needs to see a doctor. David refuses and tells him that he feels fine and that it is all due to how hard he has been training. Changing the subject that well confesses to him that he was jealous of his brother, but realized that he didn't really want that as he simply enjoyed wrestling with his family. Kevin also tells him that they rushed the wedding with Pam because he is going to be a father. This news pleased his brother, who ended up congratulating him and asked him to continue celebrating. After a few days, Kevin receives the bad news that his brother David died in his hotel in Japan from a perforated intestine. Their father orders his children not to cry as he considers it to be God's will. Kevin, who was alone in one of the correspondences, finds a letter from his brother David who told him how much he missed him. Without a doubt, the passing of his brother is a very painful loss for Kevin. Fritz then gathers his sons to tell them that the heavyweight title fight is still pending after David's death and he wants one of them to go for the title immediately and Kevin offers, but Kerry also wants to do it and his father supports him as he mentions that he sees more potential in him. 
The long-awaited day arrives and Kerry gives it his all, taking the heavyweight title on behalf of his brother David and his entire family. Back home, Kevin congratulates him and tells him how proud he is of him. Kerry, who is very happy, decides to go for a motorcycle ride and to his bad luck, he has an accident and ends up losing part of her leg. On the other hand, after the birth of his son, Kevin decides that he should receive the surname Atkinson, the original surname of their family. This was because Kevin believed that the Von Erich family was doomed to suffer multiple tragedies and it seemed that all events were proving him more and more right. Kevin was ignored by his father. His brother Mike was the next star for his family but to the bad luck of the Bonds, Mike injures his shoulder and in his surgery, after a too high fever, he suffers a shock syndrome. This leaves Kevin devastated, who doesn't understand why his family is going through all of this, while Mike decides to take his own life, since nothing is the same as before. Kevin asks Carrie to continue to rest, but Carrie refuses, as he wants to continue fighting. The next morning, they learn of Mike's death, another hard loss for the family. After the death of his brother, Kevin decides to train day and night to compete against Ric Flair for the World Championship. Your daddy got together with the powers that be and ordered me back down here to Dallas. And no daddy's boy is going to take that from me. It is the most grueling of all professional sports. You never go down, you just stay up. And I can go through Kevin Von Erich, or any Von Erich. This action causes Kevin to lose the world championship by disqualification. He realizes that he doesn't want to go on like this, so Kevin returns to his family to whom he is fully dedicated taking care of his two children spending time and seeing that earnings are not as they used to be and that his brother wanted it is now owned by. Another company Kevin wants to sell his share in order to have a stable economy and buy a house where he can live comfortably with his family however his father refuses to do so and he makes it clear that if he sells his share he will no longer be welcome in their home so Kevin decides to desist from selling because it is Christmas and Carrie is coming to visit. His father, upon seeing him, tells him how proud he is of him and in the moment Harry brings a gun as a gift to his father. He wants him to try it but his father refuses since they are having visitors. Carrie seems to lose control when he gets a no for an answer, but then calms down and has a good time with the family. In the evening, Carrie calls Kevin to tell him how bad he feels about the loss of his leg as it hurts all the time. He also tells him that he feels very lonely and that they will not give him new contracts and will only put him in a fight. Kevin invites him to breakfast for some family time, but Carrie shuts down saying he's cursed and wants to die. Kevin wants to help him, but Carrie immediately hangs up on him. Kevin calls his father to tell him to take care of his brother while he arrives home the next morning. Kerry ends up taking his own life with the gun he gave his father. Kevin, furious, blames his father with a broken heart at losing his only remaining brother. I told you to look out for him! You didn't take care of him! Kevin takes Carrie to the table in his living room where he cries. The scene then shows Carrie in the afterlife, arriving at a dock where his other deceased brothers are happily waiting for him. He even reunites with Jack Jr., his little brother who died as a child. Finally, Kevin, after losing all his brothers, puts his family in the first plan. He sells the part of his company to be able to support Pam and his children, who are his strength and comfort. 
After the loss of all his brothers in the credits, they mentioned that the Von Erich family was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2009, and that Kevin and Pam bought a ranch where he lives with his huge family of children and grandchildren. And this is where the movie ends. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos. Thank you for watching.